How many people are with us? All right, the, the, the Rebbe has a beautiful mimer in, in, about what is Pesach Sheni. What is Pesach Sheni? If you remember, we learned it over here. Where was it? It was in Beit, right? Beit, they understand it here. It is Pesach Sheni. It was in Gimel. In Gimel. In the, 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 Gimel. And it says, what is Pesach Sheni? Pesach Sheni, just to refresh everybody's memory, it says in the Torah that if a person, a, a Jew that does not bring a Korban Pesach, that Jew is, it's the, there's two, it's the only one, <coughs> the, there's one of two, there are only two positive commandments that are punishable by death from heaven, Koret. Koret is usually getting death from heaven, but we learned before, right, we learned Koret, if a person, that's only if a person transgresses things that he shouldn't do, negative commandments, like we said, he lights a fire on Shabbat secretly that nobody sees him. So the punishment is death from heaven after 50 years. Of it. Only negative, there's only two commandments, the positive commandments, you think you're supposed to do. That if you don't do them, the punishment is death from heaven. And it was usually there's no punishment if you don't do things. You didn't do anything. You just, you just refrain from doing it. If a person has a child and he's supposed to circumcise him and he doesn't circumcise him, that punishment is punishable by death. But of course, he can avoid death if he circumcises him one minute before he himself dies. So therefore, it can't be carried out until the person dies. And then there's the punishment. Another one is a person that does not bring a Korban Pesach. He's supposed to bring the Pesach offering and he doesn't bring it. Purposely doesn't bring it. The punishment is death from heaven. That's pretty severe. Why so severe? Because it says the Pesach offering is like, in a way, one of, one of the big foundations of Judaism. That God himself exists and God cares and God is active in the world and God loves the Jews and God took us out of Egypt and God controls the whole world and he can do anything he wants. These are basic essences of Jewish people and that was the Korban Pesach. That was the Pesach offering. And, and that was in the time of the Beit HaMikdash, of course. It says, what if a person wasn't able to bring the Korban Pesach? What if he was too far away? What if he was sick? He says he has Pesach Sheni. He can do Pesach Sheni. Some people say even if he did it on purpose. Okay, anyway, there's a lot of laws. You can look in the, in the Mishnah. It's Pesachim. It talks about it, what laws of Pesach Sheni. In any case, it's the only commandment in the Torah which the punishment is so severe and that you can make it up. You can make make up. Just one second. Just to somebody's call me up. Shalom over. I need tzalzalach. I need b'shu b'zoom. Moshe Shior. Odd minute. I need tzalzalach. Okay, so this Pesach Sheni. What does Pesach Sheni mean? A person that was impure, he was far away, he was sick, whatever. whatever is. So he has Pesach. He can make it up. Make it up. From this, there comes the Chabad statement, very powerful, powerful message in life and in serving God that it's never too late. Never too late. Of course, you only say it's never too late after you miss the thing. You can't say it's never too late, so if so, I'm going to wake up whenever I want to and I'll you know, miss the Korban Pesach because it's never too late. I'll do whatever I want, right? Never too late to, to repent, so I'll repent tomorrow. I will. Never too late. No. Never too late means that if a person did miss doing something good, that he can always make it up, never too late to do a good deed. Never too late to do something good that you missed. Very deep message, very active, positive, empowering message. Never too late. Don't think I'm too old. I can't do it. I'm, it's impossible. I can't start now. I haven't learned Torah up to now. I can't do it. Never too late. So that's one big message from Pesach Sheni. So as the Rebbe in this mimer, that Pesach Sheni has also another big message. It's giving us a tremendous energy and opportunity. All the holidays open up windows to the infinite in order to remind us that we really are infinite. <clears throat> the thing is, infinity is not exactly what we think it is. Infinite doesn't mean that, you know, you're whatever it is... Uh, you know, Superman or something that nothing can harm you. That's that's stupid stuff. 
What do you care? You have to jump over buildings and break rocks. That's what you're going to do. That's an accomplishment. It's good maybe for the movies, and even for the movies, it's not such a big accomplishment. Now that being infinite means that the abilities that you have as a human being, you can use them. And there are abilities that you have, you don't even know what they are. Good qualities, qualities of love, qualities of honesty, qualities of using your mind. Some people have to, are stupid, stupidest people in the world. But as soon as they learn something two, three, four times, then all of a sudden they become intelligent, smart. Right? There are a lot of these people that were the blacks. They wrote them off and they're stupid. All of a sudden you re realize they can remember like rap songs. They can remember like all the words for 500 rap songs. And they're really complicated. How can they remember it? Because they have a different type of way of understanding. They could be amazing geniuses, but just not geniuses. Like we're use geniuses, right? They don't use the, their, their mind for the stupid things that we do. They use it for the stupid things that they do. <laughs> or sometimes for intelligent things. You know, people have qualities, everybody does, that sometimes just the ability to be nice, to smile, to think good things, to help other people. is crazy, amazing qualities that we have. That's the idea of Pesach, the first Pesach. Pesach means that no matter what situation you are, no matter how limited that you think you are, you can always jump out. Pesach. Pesach Sheni means that you can jump out of even that. Pesach Sheni means that you can jump out of even being unlimited, that you realize that what you thought was jumping out that was unlimited, that that really was limited, that your, your, your potential is much greater than you even thought it could possibly be, even after you've already jumped out of your previous. You've already improved yourself. That's something like it says that the Mashiach is going to come and make the tzaddikim do tshuva. That's Pesach Shinim, is the second jumping. <laughs> and then the Rebbe explains that from where does this come from? What is this? Oh. <clears throat> Says the Rebbe that in general we can look at it like this: that there's two ways in general of serving God, and that's what's called forcing yourself and transforming yourself, or if you want to call it using willpower and pleasure. Willpower means a person makes a decision: I am going to do what God wants. Oh, that's very nice. The person takes God seriously. He realizes that God is creating him. He realizes the tremendous joy you should have in being able to serve the creator of the whole universe. He's creating everybody. But he doesn't really feel it, so he forces himself. He makes that decision, I'm going to force myself. There's a tremendous jump that a person makes instead of being selfish. To be selfish, but he has to do it in a way of forcing himself. Wonderful. That's the first Passover. The second Passover is you actually enjoy and you get a pleasure from serving the creator. That's called eshapcha, transformation. So it's basically talking about the same thing. It's talking about a jump from one level of serving God, which is acquired by the first Passover, jumping out from being a normal, selfish person, think about yourself, to serve Hashem. That's the first jump. And the second one is to jump from being a servant of Hashem through willpower to serving Hashem through pleasure, enjoying serving Hashem, enjoying going out of yourself. It's a second jumping. And this is available to everybody. And especially on the second, all the time, if you want to, but especially on the second Passover, Pesach Sheni, that this ability to jump higher than even jumping itself, in other words, being attached to the Mashiach, this is what's revealed on Pesach Sheni. So if so, we learned three messages on Pesach Sheni already. Number one, it's never too late to start. Number two, even if you've gone out of all of your previous mistakes and selfishness, you've already gone out, but you have power to even go out of that. And number three, that not only are, are you able to force yourself to, to make the decision, serve God to force yourself, make the decision to force yourself to serve God, that's the first Passover, you can actually enjoy serving God. That's the second Passover. And that's really the level of, of a tzaddik. So the idea of the second Passover is to open all of our potentials to serve God in a happy way. That's what it is, Pesach Sheni. Okay? Good? I hope so.
as we'll see tomorrow, God willing, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 8.15. Shalom, everyone. Tomorrow there will also be a story. Tell your friends. Shalom.